Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Land. I will be walking you through third grade English. And we are going to try to cover the content of week 22, day number two, part of the curriculum, which may be found on page number 108 of your workbook. So if you've downloaded the workbook, please turn over there. If not, you're welcome to watch on the board with me. All right, so we are going to be studying grammar today. So this is the grammar class. And today we're going to be uh, talking about affirmative questions. So in grammar class today, we're going to be talking about affirmative questions. Okay, remember from last week we talked about what questions were. were. So what, what are questions? Those are going to be statements requiring an answer. So they are going to be statements requiring, and requiring answers from other parties. But then what are affirmative questions okay so sometimes we ask questions to affirm a prior statement so what that's talking about is literally just to confirm what we talked about before so for example you can ask yourself well we have a challenge right now don't we well the question don't we over there is trying to affirm the prior statements so you just said we have a challenge, all right? That's a statement. Then you wanna affirm the statement by asking somebody else, don't we? Well, this question over here is trying to affirm this statement. So you call this an affirmative question. Okay, so when you use the questions, the question like don't we or do we not. So don't is a contraction of do and not. And when you're trying to split it like that, you are going to put the subject right in between the word do and not. So you're going to say do we not. You don't say do not we. <laughs> okay, do we not. Um, another type of affirmative question you can ask is haven't. We, and which is going to be have, we, not. Uh, you can ask a question like mustn't, mus, mustn't, we, and that's going to be must, we, not. All right, Dep depending on the kind of question or the kind of statement you are trying to affirm. You have eaten breakfast, haven't you? We have eaten breakfast, haven't we? We must work together, mustn't we? Must we not? We must work together, okay? So take a look at all of this uh, kind of questions to understand what affirmative questions are for you. All right, did you get something from it? I believe you did. So please go ahead and turn to page number 106. You are gonna see additional exercises over there, further explanations to help you master the content that we talked about today. All right, so that's what I've got for you. Thanks for joining me. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. Your hero's body, and as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you?